watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back. TJ Carter is a familiar name to the BBN. He graduated in May of 2020 after four years with the Cats and now he's working toward a second chance in the league after last year's pro day was canceled because of COVID-19. Well, this time around, he recorded 26 reps on the bench press, averaged 4.95 in the 40 yard dash, hit 32 and a half inches on the vertical jump and nine feet, five inches on the broad jump. Our Eli Gain talked to him about his hopes of landing with an NFL team. What was last year like just going through, you know, making the roster in Arizona and kind of just going through the roller coasters of all that? What, what was that experience like even, I mean, obviously the whole pandemic and thing was going on too. Yeah, so it was definitely weird, you know, um, getting released from Arizona, uh, that being the start of your career is like, wow, it's, you know, uh, but I think it was good for me just to, you know, face that kind of adversity from the, from the jump, you know, because then it, that just let me know that I, that I just have to keep pushing and keep pushing. And, um, you know, it's definitely kind of, it gets to frustrating because, you know, you don't really know when you're going with the next call, but you have to keep working, keep having your body in shape and being ready to go at any time you can get that call. So that's, that's probably the hardest thing, like the, the mental part of it, because like you never know, you know, when you can get the, that next call. After you ended up getting released last year, you mentioned maybe kind of a blessing in disguise type of deal, just dealing with adversity early on. How were you able to regroup and how have you been just trying to get better that leads you up to this point? So after, you know, after it happened, I kind of was just in shock. Like, you know, I didn't cry or anything. I was just kind of laughing. I didn't think it was real at first. Um, Cause you know, it just, it sounded so crazy. You know, you spend these time talking to me with the coaches this whole time. And you know, they release you your first time seeing them in person. Um, but yeah, like you said, that's blessing this guys is to you know build that tough skin to, to be able to take those type of things. And as far as staying ready, you know, just working out still and running every day, make make sure you're stretching and keeping your body right. I know it was weird because your pro day was canceled last year. And and like I'm sitting here talking with the with the guys who are going through it this season, who are hoping to get drafted, and just what the University of Kentucky has done to sort of help them. And they have nothing but good things to say, and they that they feel like this university has prepared players to be ready for that next level. Would you agree with that assessment as well? Yeah, I agree. Like I said, Coach Coach Ed, um, they do a good job in there. Um, every other guys that stay here, they they do well. I remember just in the past years, like we had uh, Jay Jones and D West and all these different guys at the combine. They went and, and performed well. They ran fast and. They did a lot of reps on the bench and all, the, you know, did good in the drill. So, you know, they, they do a good job. Like I said, it definitely is a blessing for me to be able to come back and work out with these guys, especially in the midst of, you know, with COVID and everything. So I, they definitely try to take care of you after, even if after, you know, you're gone here. Say I'm watching, I'm a scout, and I'm sitting there thinking, uh, should we roll the dice on this guy? Why, why should they roll the dice on a TJ Carter? I think I'm the hardest worker in the building uh, and just, you know, the fact that I can come back and just, the fact that I've maintained and, and been able to keep my win and keep my body right over these months, especially, like I said, going through things I've been through. I know a lot of people probably want to quit. That's been in my situation. Um, and I don't know, just, just that perseverance, because I know that me, myself, the hardest thing for me, like being back home, is I didn't have the facilities and everything else. So I know, you know if I get that opportunity, that's the only way I can go is up. So glad he's taking advantage of this second chance here. Definitely. So cool that they let him come back. I yeah. love that. Stay right there. We have more after this. You're watching BBN tonight.